Well, welcome back, everybody. The kids are back in school again, and of course, that means making those school lunches again as well. But it does not have to be just peanut butter and jelly. Here to show us how to make some really fun lunches for the kids, and you'll really enjoy making them yourself, is Chef Ronnie Wu from The Delicious Cook. Welcome, Ronnie. Hey, Kai. What's up, man? Good to, Good see, to see you, see you again. again. This is a near and dear to my heart because I woke up this morning and it was like, Dad, the same thing again? I know, I know. I don't have kids of my own yet, but when I take care of my nieces, it's kind of the same thing. Like, I kind of want to make it a little bit special. And for the first day of school, yeah. you can always make something special for them, you know? You don't do it every day. But. Right. And then you mix it up after <laughs> you that. You mix it up, exactly. <laughs> so what do we got here? What, what's really unique and, and different about this? Yeah, so meal? this, to start your day off right, we have chocolate milk. It's like a milkshake. So people Love think that. they're kind of having a treat for breakfast, but it's got Greek yogurt in it and a frozen banana. Ooh. So you get potassium, you get the protein from the Greek yogurt, you blend it all, all up in chocolate milk, and it's kind of like a milkshake. And, and that's like, what kids like. They want something that's fun, yeah. and then you kind of trick them. Trick them into something. Because <laughs> the, the frozen bananas make it kind of smoothie-like. So they're right. like, oh, I'm having a milkshake. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, and then we have a creamy tomato bisque here. You can call it tomato soup for the kids, mm -hmm. but what I like about this lunch is that you can make one for yourself, make one for the kids. So, you know, when it's time for your lunch, you'll have something as well. So you're not just eating ham and cheese. Um, it's a creamy tomato bisque. And then we have what I call the ultimate grilled cheese. Um, it's just whole wheat bread or whatever kind of bread you like. If you're gluten-free, use a gluten-free bread. Um, <laughs> it's got um, any kind of cheese you like. So if your kid likes cheddar, pepper jack, mozzarella, whatever you want to use, a little bit of mayo. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, great. Um, roasted red bell peppers, um, some fresh heirloom tomatoes because it's the season. Right. Um, and then instead of using butter to crisp it up, I like using olive oil. Ah. And actually, this one is my favorite. It's the uh, uh, Pompeii Mediterranean blend. And it's a combination of canola oil, um, extra virgin olive oil, and grapeseed oil. So you get like the high smoke point, but you get the great flavor of olive oil. I like and it's that. healthy too. It's got omega 3s, omega 6s, monounsaturated fats, and it's rich. And vitamin E. And that's important. We want to keep important. our kids healthy. We want to keep our kids healthy. <laughs> and so, and you can use this for anything, like making salads as well. So it's kind of an all-purpose one-stop shop for okay. oil. Okay. All right. So for yeah. this dad, show me how I would go through all this right, process guy. in the morning. So, and it's really quick too. Oh, I like that. So all you got to do, take some mayonnaise. We're gonna use it as a little bit like the glue to okay. glue down the cheese. Gotcha. A couple slices of cheese. I'm gonna do this real fast. Now, what if you. your kids don't want mayonnaise, or there you want to kind of keep them away from the fattier stuff? Is there anything else? To yeah, use you as can well? use light mayonnaise or just skip the mayo. Skip Once the, mayo. the cheese melts, it's gonna melt into the bread. Great. A couple slices of tomato. Beautiful. I love using roasted red bell peppers. You mentioned mm. that you like them too I earlier. Do. I love them. Yeah, I love and it uh, adds a lot of flavor. And once, when you're making these, make one for yourself as well, like I said earlier. It's an adult sandwich, but it's also a kid's sandwich And that's well. important, too, because you're showing your children that, you know, you care about your health and you should be eating the same things that they're eating as well. Absolutely. And then all you got to do is put a little bit of more mayo. If you're not using more mayo, put another slice of cheese on there. Okay. While we're at it, just stick the cheese on there. That is so good. <laughs> Take this. And I, a trick here that I have is brush on the olive oil. Uh -huh. and, and so you don't have to make your grill dirty. Put it on tinfoil. Because oh. that little bit of tin foil protects the grill of the cheese from melting. That's and smart. And then once you do it, stick it in a paper bag and then send it along with your kids to school, you know? Like and you can also, of course, cut it in half, too, before you do You can cut it that. in half. Make Absolutely. it a little more, more manageable for them. You can cut them. it in half. You can cut it in thirds. It might be a little bit harder to cut in thirds, but um, if your kid's like, you know, an older kid, they may want a big, giant sandwich. Right. For the younger kids, all you got to do is tightly wrap it. Okay. So you're really getting it in there. Yeah. As you can see, it's super quick, but when you actually, when it melts, Look at that. Bam. Right on top. That's so it takes smart. a little bit of time. It's like five to six minutes on each side, but the olive oil is going to really crisp it up, make it super delicious. Um, and then when it's done, open it, cut it, put it in your kid's lunch, and then you're good to go. And the creamy bisque goes perfect with it. Mm -hmm. And everyone at school is going to be like, you have the coolest dad or mom <laughs> ever, or the coolest parents. Exactly. And so like, but lo and behold, they probably don't know they're not getting it every day. <laughs> you can't make grilled cheese every day, you but can't. for the first day. But even if you wanted to, it's such an easy recipe. Like, clearly you saw how fast I put it together. Yeah. And it's really just, um, just quick snap done. It's fantastic. So you get the lunch, you get the heartiness, you get the milkshake, and I like the Spider-Man lunch bag I know. too. It's my favorite superhero. Good job. Yeah. And then we <laughs> add some grapes, add some like carrots, celery, throw whatever you want in there. But it's going to be a pretty hearty lunch, and you know, ki most kids are probably going to be opening up to like ham and cheese or something pretty boring, like chicken nuggets. Right. But then your kid's going to have like this awesome like grilled cheese sandwich that's like gourmet. And that's gonna great. Be, like, well, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be just the star of the kitchen, so I want to thank awesome. you for that, Chef. You'll be the cool dad. Right. <laughs> Not that you're not already, but... <laughs> Cooler. <laughs> Cooler. Coolest. All right. Well, for more lunch ideas and recipes from Chef Wu, just head to our website.